while going to the beach is usually a fun, relaxing experience where you can go in the water, build a sun castle, or soak in the sun's rays. There are some beaches that are not so pleasant. Join me for today's video. We're going to look through 15 of the most dangerous beaches in the world. Number 15. Okuma Beach in the not-too-distant past, Okuma Beach was an extremely popular summer spot to those living in Japan's Fukushima Prefecture. Frequented by surfers, fishermen, locals, and tourists alike, it was a hub of activity, yet this all changed on March 11th of 2011. That's because it was on this day that the area was rocked by a massive magnitude 9 earthquake, with this being problematic because it generated a series of tsunamis that knocked over the protective barrier to the Tokyo Electric Power Company's local nuclear power station. This led to the reactors and diesel generators being flooded with water, thus precipitating a partial meltdown of the reactor cores and a release of dangerous amounts of radioactivity into the atmosphere. The end result is that even 11 and a half years later, the entire area around the TEPCO reactors is a radioactive exclusion zone, and chances are this will remain the case for decades to come. So therefore, while Okuma Beach may have been a great spot in the past, I wouldn't suggest going anywhere near it today. Number 14. Odessa Beaches Russia's invasion of Ukraine has made the entire country a danger zone, yet one area that's been affected in a rather unique way are the beaches of the Odessa region. You see, Odessa is an area that's been subject to Russian Navy blockades, and in an attempt to compel the city to surrender, has not only bombed the apartments of innocent civilians, but also placed bombs along the beaches. While these bombs were mines initially meant to destroy Ukrainian ships, in recent months many of these bombs have drifted close to the shore. This has caused everyone from captains of small pleasure craft to innocent people diving or swimming in the ocean to meet an unfortunate and bloody end, leading to outrage given the fact that these are non-military targets. Now, according to Russia's intelligence service, bad weather has supposedly caused mines that were laid around Ukraine to become disconnected from the cables anchoring them, causing them to drift freely across the western part of the Black Sea. And whether or not the drifting of these mines really was accidental, or in a more sinister twist, on purpose, it's still unclear. What is clear is that they make a visit to many of Ukraine's popular beaches a rather risky endeavor. Number 13. Nan One Beach Nanwan Beach is one of the most popular summer spots on the island of Taiwan, and given Taiwan's capitalist connections, it makes sense that it also happens to be a free marketplace for rentals. After all, Nanwan Beach is known for having practically every sort of beach amenity known to man, available for sale or rent, and be it parasailers, jet skis, or surfboards. If you've got the money, you can have it. However, while this makes Nanwan Beach a very fun area, it also helps contribute to it being exceptionally dangerous. Since these renters undergo practically zero regulation, those who use this equipment are generally untrained and not too concerned with their surroundings, and as a result, there are often collisions between those on these machines and the crowded throngs of people that enter the beach's waters. Nanwang is also hazardous because of those who visit are not often experienced beachgoers, and as a result, drownings are not uncommon even when the sea is calm. To top this off, Nanwang is well positioned to receive ocean ground swell from seasonal typhoons. And while this makes it a great spot for surfers, this makes the beach extremely hazardous for regular beachgoers. As such, while Nanwan may be a cool place to visit, it's somewhere where you have to be extremely careful. Number 12. Sandy Beach The Hawaiian island of Oahu is famous for being a surfer's paradise, as it has beaches with waves of all shapes and sizes for surfers of all abilities. However, while many of Oahu's beaches are relatively safe, Sandy Beach on the southwest Kauai coast is certainly an exception. Better known by locals as Brokeneck Beach, it's infamous for its powerful shore break waves. Caused by an almost constant stream of ocean swells from a northeast trade wind, the end results are waves that break into hollow, powerful tubes on a steep sandy beach. The danger from this is that surfers are often released onto the shallow sandbar in awkward positions, and while the force is usually only enough to cause bruises and or scrapes. Serious incidents such as broken necks, pelvic bones, and spinal cord injuries are not uncommon. As a result, the waves make for some great surfing for experienced surfers, but extremely dangerous surfing for beginners. And since Sandy Beach is often packed with pros, many tourists see the large numbers of people in the water and mistakenly believe the beach is safe. And while this has caused Honolulu's officials to position some of their best trained and most experienced lifeguards in the city on the beach, Sandy Beach is nevertheless a very dangerous place to visit. 
Number 11, Boa Viagem Beach. Brazil is a country that's known for its beautiful coastlines, and Boa Viagem Beach on the city of Recife is no exception. Set with skyscrapers at its back and beautiful blue water at its front, Boa Viagem is a very popular spot for both locals and tourists alike. Yet while the beach is a great place to play some soccer, eat a meal, or pick up a tan, one of the last things you should do while there is go in the water. That's because this beach is known for being infested with sharks, with the danger level being so high that between the years 1992 and 2012, there were 56 attacks in the city's waters, with 21 of them being fatal. These attacks have mostly been attributed to tiger and bull sharks, and it's as a result of this danger that ever since 1999, swimmers have only been allowed to go out to a depth of a meter. However, even at this depth, your safety from a shark attack is far from guaranteed, and as a result, many locals refuse to go in the water out of fear. And while the lifeguards are trained to handle shark attacks, when they do happen, I suggest saving yourself the trouble by simply staying on land on your next trip to Recife. Number 10. Hanakapiai Beach To an unsuspecting tourist, Hanakapiai Beach could easily be seen as one of Hawaii's most beautiful swimming spots. It's a popular destination because it not only has beautiful nature trails nearby, but it's also home to pristine blue waters that have been the subject of many an Instagram post and a Snapchat story. Yet, despite looking like a tropical paradise between 1970 and 2010, it's believed that at least 40 people drowned there, and the main reason for this is due to its geography. You see, Hanakapiai Beach does not have a reef barrier to help mitigate the powerful ocean currents, and as a result, these currents hit the shore with massive amounts of force. This causes both high waves and powerful rip currents, both of which can take even the strongest of swimmers and pull them out to sea. While these rip currents are pretty bad, the deadliest body of water at the beach is not actually the ocean, but a nearby river. This is because strong waves from the ocean often cause the river to flood, and when tourists try to cross it, they often get caught up in its white caps and dragged out to sea. So therefore, while I wouldn't warn you against visiting the beach at all, I'd strongly suggest staying out of the water if you ever decide to give Hanakapiai a visit. Number 9. Bondi Beach when it comes to Australia's most iconic tourist spots, few are as famous as Bondi Beach. It's located in the suburbs of the business hub of Sydney. It's one of the most visited tourist sites in Australia and is a popular spot for both foreigners and locals alike. However, while Bondi Beach may be popular, it's also exceptionally dangerous. First and foremost, the beach is home to a healthy population of great white sharks and blue box jellyfish, and attacks by either species are not uncommon. The beach is also known for its rough water, and while it has a series of flags where it's relatively safe to swim, rip currents and treacherous surf have been known to pull people out to sea. However, it should be noted that Bondi Beach's lifeguards are some of the best on the planet, and it's believed that they save as many as a hundred lives a day. Regardless, even if you do manage to avoid the dangerous animals and avoid getting taken out to sea under the noses of the lifeguards, Bondi Beach is also notorious for one other danger theft. After all, due to its popularity, it tends to attract criminal elements, and this has led to many people having their belongings stolen while out for a swim. So, while I won't discourage you from going to Bondi Beach, I'd advise you to be extremely careful. Number 8. Fraser Island Beach When it comes to danger, Fraser Island Beach truly is a complete package. It's located about 8 hours north of Brisbane. The beach is absolutely stunning. And while it's known for its looks, what it's better known for are its host of dangerous creatures. In the water, the beach is a popular hangout spot for great white sharks, jellyfish, and poisonous stingrays. And as a result, practically no one makes the often fatal decision to swim in its waters. If you instead decide to soak in the sun, you'll perhaps be even in more danger, as about 30 packs of wild dogs known as dingoes roam the island. While most dingoes are naturally scared of humans, the ones at Fraser Island have lost this fear over time, and as a result, in recent years, there's been an increasing number of attacks by packs who hope to make human tourists their next meal. Beyond these animals, the ocean at Fraser Island itself is known for being exceptionally rough and home to powerful riptides, and since there are no lifeguards nor any warning flags, tourists who go for a dip often get washed away by strong currents. And if that wasn't bad enough, Fraser Island is also nowhere near any hospitals, so if you get attacked, hurt, or injured in any other way, you have no choice but to be airlifted to the nearest medical facility. As a result, while Fraser Island is a relatively popular tourist spot, I would suggest checking out a less risky beach somewhere else. Number 7. Camilo Beach 
Nothing quite ruins a beachfront like having piles of trash polluting it, and Camilo Beach stands apart for being especially dirty. Considered to be one of the most plastic polluted spots on the planet, Camilo Beach is a spot that is as grimy as it is due to a variety of factors. First and foremost, it's located in Hawaii, with this being relevant because it places the beach at the center of a swirling ocean current that's just east of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. As a result of this location, Camilo Beach catches plastic from all over the world, with some of it being decades old before it ends up on Camilo. In fact, it's estimated that between 15 and 20 tons of debris wash up on the beach annually, and that 96% of it's plastic, which in many cases can be recycled. Now, while constant cleanup efforts have prevented what had in the past been a regular stream of three meter high piles of trash from accumulating, what cleanup efforts haven't been able to do is make the waters of Camilo Beach even remotely safe to swim in. Unfortunately, the pollution on the beach has also affected local wildlife, and many fish in the area ingest the plastics, causing them to become poisoned to the point where they either die or contaminate the people or animals that later eat them. As such, Camilo Beach is representative of the wider problem of global pollution, and for your health and safety, I'd suggest only visiting it if you're part of a cleanup crew. Number 5. Imperial Beach while the city of San Diego is considered by many to be the best place to live in the entirety of the United States, one of the few things it doesn't have is good swimming water. You see, Imperial Beach is one of the main beaches in the area, and it's located about 10 kilometers north of the border with Mexico. This fact is important because it places it very close to a massive wastewater treatment plant located in the Mexican border city of Tijuana. Unfortunately, this plant is currently operating way over capacity due to the massive population growth that Tijuana has experienced in recent years, and this has resulted in as much as 140 million liters of toxic water contaminated by raw sewage and industrial pollutants regularly washing onto the beach. Unsurprisingly, this has led to the beach now starting to smell very bad and be contaminated with norovirus, causing many who used to go into the water to now be forced to stay out. And while this has angered many local residents, the reality is that fixing this problem is very difficult. Since Tijuana's sewage plant is located in Mexico, it's near impossible for San Diego authorities to get them to change their practices or update the facility. And at times, the situation has gotten so bad that California's South Bay International Wastewater Treatment Plant has been tasked with taking in some Mexican sewage, causing it to go more than 95 million liters over capacity in the process. So, unless serious action is taken by Mexican authorities, Imperial Beach will likely continue to be a vector of disease. Number 4. Bikini Atoll On the surface, the beaches of Bikini Atoll look absolutely stunning. Located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, the atoll is a small ring-shaped reef surrounded by a 24 by 42 kilometer oval lagoon. And within this reef, the atoll has 23 small coral islands that are filled with beautiful beaches, palm trees, and otherwise stunning scenery. However, while Bikini Atoll may be beautiful, both it and several other spots within the Marshall Islands share a dark secret. And that's because from 1946 until the early 1960s, Bikini Atoll and nearby Eniwetak Atoll were chosen to be the so-called Pacific Proving Grounds by the U.S. government. And it was while under this classification that more than 20 nuclear devices were tested there. While this made Bikini Atoll a small yet important location due to the ongoing Cold War, it also made it quite dangerous, as all of this bomb testing led to high levels of cesium-137 and other forms of radiation being located across the atoll. While this has reportedly not stopped marine life from developing around the atoll, what it has done is led to serious physical deformities and health problems in the island's residents. And in response, the United States agreed to the Compact of Free Association with the Marshall Islanders. This document stipulates that the U.S. government is obligated to resolve personal illness claims arising from its nuclear testing in the area. And to this date, the United States has paid about $125 million in damage claims. If that wasn't bad enough, the high levels of radiation continue to this very day. So unless you're looking to severely decrease your lifespan and physical well-being, I'd suggest finding a different Pacific Island paradise for your next beach vacation. Number 3. The Skeleton Coast While many coastlines have become prime real estate in recent years, the beautiful yet ominous Skeleton Coast has mostly been left alone. Stretching for 500 kilometers between the south of Angola down to the north of Namibia, it's filled with desolate and abandoned beaches that are certainly on the scarier side. 
Feared by locals and tourists alike, the area is considered to be completely inhospitable, as its scorching temperatures, strong hot winds, and almost complete lack of food and fresh water make it far from an ideal place to live. Beyond these traits, the coast itself is nearly impossible to traverse, as it's usually covered by a dense ocean fog and constant heavy waves. On the micro level, practically every individual beach is home to death and destruction, as the coast is filled with not just animal carcasses, but also approximately 500 shipwrecks that consist of everything from Portuguese galleons to modern steel hulled vessels. If that wasn't enough, predators such as lions and hyenas are known to prowl the beaches in search of prey making it a pretty dangerous place to set up shop. Yet, despite the crazy conditions, the Skeleton Coast has a macabre kind of beauty to it. Due to it being practically untouched, it's home to some incredible scenery that can't be seen anywhere else in the world. So, if the Skeleton Coast sounds like a place that you'd want to visit, you can take the singular road that stretches along it, and since it practically has no vehicle traffic, those traveling on it can experience the strange sensation of having a barren desert on one side and a massive expanse of ocean to the other. As such, there are some tourists that brave a trip down this extreme coastal highway, and despite the dangers, many have given it a rave review. Number 2. New Smyrna Beach Unless swimming with large quantities of sharks is something that you would consider to be a good time, then I'd suggest staying far away from New Smyrna Beach. It's better known as the shark attack capital of the world. It's located close to Orlando, Florida, and is home to a wide variety of shark species such as black tip, spinner, and tiger sharks. While this is already pretty freaky, what makes the beach even worse is the fact that anyone swimming there is never less than three meters away from a shark, and so it should come as little surprise that ever since 1956, more than 240 shark attacks have been recorded, making the beach a real shark attack hotspot. However, what's really interesting about New Smyrna Beach is that despite its danger, locals don't seem to care. That's because New Smyrna Beach is one of Florida's most popular beaches for surfing, and many locals go there to both fish and swim in its waters. In fact, it's so popular that there can be as many as 300 surfers in the water on any given day, and as a result, experts believe that the high number of attacks is simply due to the large quantities of people using the beach rather than the large quantity of sharks. Yet regardless of whether or not this is true, local authorities have on occasion tried to close down New Smyrna Beach. In fact, the deputy beach chief tried to do so in 2001 after a long string of shark attacks and sightings. However, the amount of complaints was so massive that he had no choice but to reopen it shortly afterwards. So, the fact that Floridians love a beach like New Smyrna so much is testament to how crazy the state of Florida truly is. Number 1. Manchineel Beaches While manchineel trees are native to sandy beaches across the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico that are in most respects safe, just the presence of one of these toxic trees is enough to make a relatively low-risk beach become an extremely dangerous one. Laden with small apple-like fruits, these trees look relatively harmless, but the reality is that every single part of the tree is toxic. First and foremost, their fruits are rather sinister, as these seemingly sweet treats cause your throat to swell shut and your mouth to burn for hours on end. If you touch its sap, the pain is even worse. As it comes into contact with your skin or eyes, it can burn right through and cause permanent scarring and blindness. This is a real danger, because when it rains, sap will often fall off its branches, and as a result, any tourist sheltering underneath a manchineel for cover from the rain will be coated by this caustic sap and receive horrific injuries. Beyond the fruit and sap, injuries have also been reported by those who have inhaled smoke from its burned wood, touched part of its trunk, or believe it or not, stood too close to one on a windy day. Thus, it should come as no surprise that the manchineel holds the Guinness World Record for being the world's most dangerous tree. Yet, I should assure you that if you are careful, you can likely avoid any brutish injuries. This is because in many areas, locals have begun to notice these dangers of the trees and have proactively painted red X's or nailed warning signs onto them in order to warn potential victims. So, the reality is that not all manchineel trees are marked so I suggest researching what manchineels look like so you can avoid them on your next tropical vacation there. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.